Ravi, you played Olga Giria and you won. Valuable point for your team. How did it? Uh, how did it go today against Olga? Yeah, it was pretty smooth. Um, and yeah, I don't know. We, we've won the we've won the tournament, so <laughs> feel good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And what about the game itself? What what actually happened? Anything? Uh, what were the turning points? I don't really know. I mean, I probably just out prepared her a little bit, and. Um, I mean, it felt smooth at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe I'll analyze it afterwards. And it, she had some ways to play. But yeah, after she took on F3, um, it, her position was probably a bit more difficult practically. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. it, was just, it was a smooth game, I think. You had a sort of a tournament of two halves, really, didn't you? You had five draws, and then suddenly it all started happening for you. Well, yeah, but I played better in the first half, actually. <laughs> yes, I, I remember. Better. When we talked the last um, time, you said you missed all kinds of things. Yeah, so I was playing nice games in the first half of the tournament, and the second half has been a bit edgy, but um, yeah, overall, not too bad. Okay, let's look at the game. We have a Ray Lopez position here, and uh, Black's just played Bishop G4. What did you do next? Yeah, I played Queen 1 here. Um, Queen 1? Well, it's a bit weird because c3, initially, instead of, instead of c3, you can play like knight bd2. So I guess this is a bit of a sideline. And I saw she had some games where she played bishop c5 instead of bishop b7. Um, but she played bishop b7 here. Mm -hmm. And I was already a bit annoyed because, I mean, I prepared this and then I was sitting at the board thinking I can't remember anything. Um, but I knew after bishop g4, queen e1, and here I think the best is maybe knight c5. Okay. And okay, I'm probably wrong, but I think this is the line takes a knight e6. Right. And I think queen d2 might be the move here. Queen d2. Well, that's what I was going to play. Um, it doesn't even look right. I don't know, this is what I remembered. Um, mm -hmm. But okay, she took on f3, which is... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is what, that would have been my first instinct, knowing nothing about this yeah, variation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the problem is that her, she has problems on the light squares now. So she played knight c5. I think queen d7 might be a tiny bit more accurate because I have to play queen e2 and then she goes to... Yeah. Um, and then if b4, then maybe she has d4. Right. No, sorry, I'm being an idiot. No, it's, it's, it's completely wrong. I can just take oh, on c5. Oh, you just take yeah. knight, of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't. oh, well. Never mind. Um, I put a rook on Prees for a <laughs> too early, so don't feel bad about it. <laughs> okay. Um, um, so where are we? But B4. she played knight c5 straight away. Yeah, knight c5. And here, it just felt like this felt right before knight e6, f4. Mm -hmm. um, like my position just looked nice. Uh, and like yeah. if she castles, for example, then I have f5, f6, probably. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. It does look quite nice for white, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Or the... yeah, if she castles, maybe just like queen e2 even. Because um, f5, f6 is a threat now. So she has to stop it. So she played g6. I guess somehow she wants to go like knight g7, knight f5. But everything takes a lot of time. Um, yeah. I mean, having never two. seen this position before, yeah. I've gone off the idea of taking on f3 now because it looks kind of nice. For me, yeah, it just it? felt pretty comfortable. Um, yeah, because she played bishop f8 here, so she wants to play like knight g7, knight e7, knight f5, but... It's very yeah. artificial, isn't it? That kind of yeah, and even if she does get that, I mean, she got it in the game, but it feel, felt bad. So I played a4 because it just yeah. seemed natural. Uh, rook b8. Rook b8, yeah. Takes, takes, takes yeah. Takes, and king h1. Yeah, I wanted to make something like bishop d3 work, because uh, I thought I should be winning here. Well, it felt nice, but queen h4 was a bit annoying. Uh, okay. Um, obviously, if... I can't take. She can take on b5. Right. Um, and if queen f3, then just, I guess, 97. But I thought I could get a better version of the game with my king on h1. I just thought it stood better on h1. So oh, I played king h1. Okay. I mean, I spent like 25 minutes and really? found nothing better than king h1. Yeah. King h1. It's yeah. always those little moves that you play after. Yeah. Long things, isn't it? H3. At some point, I was H1. just fed up. I was like, I just need to play a move. Um, queen h4. Queen launches into the... 
Yeah, I mean, she has to like, like she has to find some counterplay. Queen of three, ninety seven. Yeah, I thought this was well, what I did now was nice with this and f3. Um, just because now her queen's completely yes. out of the game. Yes. And I can play queen g4, which is what happened. Knight yeah. f5. I mean, knight f5 is very awkward for black because you played. You played yeah, queen here, g4. Didn't you? And then she went queen h6. And then she disappeared off into I, I a thought she would play queen. this. Oh, ah, okay. Um, was but, there. I was wondering, I did see this position, and uh, was it bishop h6 or something? Was that and queen g4? Queen g4, you still play queen g4. Oh, I see, yeah. And then I'm kind of threatening to take an f5. Look at that. Yeah. So you are threatening to take an h5, yeah. I don't even have to do it right now. Like, I can mm. just play knight a3 mm. next. Yeah, okay. Um, so all of these moves happened, and the queen disappears backwards. Yeah. She hasn't got much play now. Yeah, so I assume that this was her idea, just to kind of get a grip on f5. Yeah. But I can play like knight a3, and if bishop b7, then I'll probably take and take and go knight c2. That looks pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, after yeah, after queen, I mean, I think she's already lost. Um, like, yeah, I didn't really know what she was doing. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw yeah. the position where queen disappears into the into the king's side yeah. corner. because I, I can take on f5, but I just thought, why? Why letter? Yeah, letter just J. develop pieces, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you play bishop t2. Yeah. h5 gets played. And then... I mean, it just looks so awkward, like a queen on h7. Yeah. doesn't it? It looks like one of those quizzes, you know, how did the queen get to h7? <laughs> Actually, um, that's quite funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't great. Yeah, I'm, I just kept making good moves, I guess, with like yeah. bishop d3, c6, it's knight very c2. very awkward, yeah. c6, knight c2, and now bishop h6. That's a bit late in the day for that now, isn't it? Yeah, and now I decided to change everything. Yeah. And knight d4. So the problem is that like her bishop looks good, mm -hmm. mine looks bad, but her pawns are really weak because uh, my bishop can defend my pawns, but she doesn't have a bishop to defend hers because they're on light squared, so... Yeah, so they, uh, they, they came, came off on queen g6, at least she's got out of jail slightly, but... Well, yeah, she maybe wanted to keep the pawn. She would play like bishop f8. But, okay, it looks awful after rook a7 or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I'll play rook c1, rook c7. c6 will probably yeah. fall. Yeah, coming around this way, aren't you, basically? Yeah. After queen g6. Um, queen g6, rook g1 yeah. happens. Queen e, yeah. I, I, think, I, I think her idea was to play this, but I can just take and like it's mate. Whoops. Yeah. Like, and then rook a7 next. Wow. Wow. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, maybe that was her idea, but yeah, she yeah, saw it, so, so it doesn't just work. had that big floor in it. Yeah. So, as played. But okay, after king f8, okay, it's already lost, like rook a7, um, this, yeah. If she played bishop h6, I was thinking of queen f6, maybe. Oh, okay. Because then her bishop's a little bit trapped, but okay, it's, there's no point. <laughs> I, I, maybe it's better just to go, Yeah. after, sorry, after bishop, yeah, bishop h6, maybe it's better just to go back to h4 and then to g3. Yeah. Right, so... Uh, but yeah, she played rook h7. Yeah, okay, after rook, rook a1, queen h6 takes, takes. Yeah, it's already lost after rook c7. Um, and rook a7, it, yeah. Let's just look at a couple more moves. Rook c7, king g8. Uh, and I think that's... I'm getting there now, aren't we? Rook h8, rook f8, rather. Should yeah, well, well, my plan is to play king, rook a6 and take on c6. But I just thought I might as well put my bishop on g3 and king on g2 first. Mm -hmm. Time control, bishop g7, bishop g3. Let's see if we can get this a bit further up. Okay, six, closing in on the c, c pawn. This is all a bit sad now, isn't it? 
Oh, V8. Yeah. Let's just have a look at that. Yeah, things are just dropping off and that's the end of the game pretty much, isn't it? Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Enough said. Yeah, I, I just take on B5 and take, take on B5. Yeah, yeah. Game over. Yeah. Okay, thanks so much. Cool.